Welcome to section 11.8, graphs of linear inequalities. Now, a linear inequality is just like an equation of a line, except now you'll have an inequality instead of an equal sign. And remember, inequalities are just where you have greater than or less than signs. Sometimes they'll have the bar underneath to say it could be equal to, but that's what makes it an inequality. It does not necessarily have to be equal. It can be unequal, hence the term inequality. Uh, so one of the things we'll have to do with this is we might be given an equation and some points, and we have to tell if those points are solutions to the equation. So our first one is 0, 0. So you'd plug in a 0 for x and a 0 for y. Well, 3 times 0 is 0, minus 4 times 0 is also 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 8? No, negative 8 is less than 0. So that is not a, so a solution. So now let's try our negative 1 and 4. So plug in a negative 1 for x. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Uh, and then we're going to plug in a 4 for y. So 4 times 4 is 16. It, and so now our question is, is negative 3 minus 16 less than or equal to negative 8? Well, negative 3 minus 16 will give us a negative 19. Is that less than or equal to negative 8? Yes, it is. It is indeed less than negative 8. So now if we want to graph linear inequalities, well, it's actually going to be really similar to just graphing a straight, a regular line. So what I'll actually do is I'm going to try to get this into y equals mx plus b form. So instead of having that minus 2x, I'm going to just add 2x to both sides. So now I'll have y. The inequality doesn't change, so it will stay as y is greater than 2x plus 3. Well, this is helpful because now I have uh, a y-intercept for us right here at 3. And our slope says we go up 2 over 1. So up 2 over 1. There will be our next point. And so normally we would now just draw a line through these points. However, if we were to go and do a solid line, uh, say, uh, something like that, this actually would not be correct. And the reason is, is that with inequalities, if you have strictly greater than or strictly less than signs, both of those need a dashed line when we graph this. If it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, then it's a solid line. So since this is strictly greater than, we actually just need a dashed line instead of our solid line. And then we can still have arrows on the ends. And if I erase that, there we go. Now I've got our dashed line going through. And now it would be correct. Let's try one more inequality, and then I'll let you go. So you have at most $40 to, to buy art supplies. Paint costs $6 per bottle and $4 per brush. This can be modeled by this equation of 6x plus 4y is less than or equal to 40, where x represents the number of tubes of paint and y is equal to the number of brushes. Graph the inequality. How many tubes and brushes can you buy? Well, I will actually graph this inequality by, by finding our x and y intercepts first. So our x intercept comes when our y is equal to 0. So 6x plus 4 times 0 is less than or equal to 40. Well, 4 times 0 is 0, so that cancels out that whole term. And now we can divide both sides by 6. And x is going to be less than or equal to uh, 6 and uh, Four, six, so six and two thirds. Uh, we could do the same thing for trying to find our y intercept. So then be six times zero, because our x coordinate is zero uh, for our y intercept, plus four y is less than or equal to 40. So that cancels out that whole term. We can divide both sides by four. So y has to be less than or equal to 10. Oops, not four y has to be less than or equal to 10. So 
Now we can go and plot a point at 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, I knew it was going to be close. There we go. So we will have our y coordinate, our y intercept there. Our x intercept will be at 6 and 2 thirds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2 thirds. And then we just need a dashed line in between there. And uh, when you're actually doing an, uh, well, when you're doing this uh, and graphing this now uh, in two dimensions, uh, the other thing that's helpful is it's actually more than just that straight line. Uh, and I probably should have done that up here with this line too, uh, because I forgot, I just realized I totally forgot to do this last step. So uh, let's come back here first. And then we'll go and finish that last problem, or that final problem. So when y is greater than 2x plus 3, uh, we graph the line that is the cutoff for that. But all values either above the line or below the line work. We just need to figure out which is true. Is it above the line or below the line? So one way you can think about this is y is greater than the line that we just drew. So if our y values are greater than that line, that means it's going to be the whole area above the line. And so you could actually just shade in that area and call it good. So that'd be one way you could do it. Another way you could do it is you could just pick a point that is not on that line and see if it works. So let's try the point 0, 0 and just check the origin. So if we go and plug in a 0 for x and a 0 for y, is 0 greater than uh, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3? Is 0 greater than 3? No, it's not. So that means the zero side won't work. So the side of the line that would have zero, zero does not work. That is not a solution. So that means we have to shade the other side of the line. So let's go and do that on our final problem here. Uh, so if this line represents that $40 mark, and that's the most money we're able to spend, we can't spend more than 40, which would be this whole side out here. That would not be good for us. But we could actually spend less than 40. So that means our final answer would be this dashed line. And then it's going to be this whole area inside of our dashed line. And that would then be our final answer. So how many tubes and brushes can we buy? Well, we can buy up to uh, 10 brushes or we could buy six tubes or some combination in between that would be less costly than 10 brushes or six tubes. So any intersection, like if we went for, uh, say, if we wanted two tubes and four brushes, that would be right here. This is less than that dashed line. It works. This is one of the answers that would work. So you could get, uh, two tubes and six brushes or four brushes or whatever. As long as the point that you pick is going to be within this triangle, you're good. So that's all I've got for you for today. So good luck and let me know if you have any questions.